guide in this video we're going to look at how to take a weather icon font that you've made and have it show up in KOWP and um, before you jump into this too make sure you have watched or you're at least familiar with uh, how to make an icon font I did a video about a week ago on icon fonts v2 and I also talk about some free stuff in there on how to create your uh, take your SVGs and posting them on IcoMoon and then downloading them and getting that JSON file as well as that .ttf file and moving them into your custom folder on your device. Now what I've made over here in Affinity Designer or you can use it in any uh, graphics application as long as you can create your SVGs. Notice what I have over here, the names. And these names like windy day, windy night, clear day, clear night, pea cloudy day, pea cloudy night. And notice that I, I do have some differences between these. For example, the, the clear day is this sun here and the clear night is that one right there. Pea cloudy day, it's a cloud with a sun, pea cloudy night. What, what we have here are, I want to distinguish between day and night and I wanna see the icon of the current weather condition. Now, where am I getting these conditions from? I'm going over to help.custom.rocks and underneath the functions page, if we come down to weather info, inside of here, I'm creating icons based on these icons that we have right here. Now, you could go the extra mile and create and use the WI code right there, and you could create you know, icons for all of these. But what I've done just for simplistic purposes is I've created a, a icon for each one of these. And what I've done is I've created a day one and a night one. So, you know, we have all these things in here, and that's exactly what I have over here in Affinity Designer. So I've exported all these SVGs and create two of each. And the reason why I say that is that way, you know, if you have a, a shower, maybe you want to show one icon when it's showering during the day, and then maybe you want to show a different one if it's showering during the night. For right now, I don't have that over here, but trust me, this will make your coding a lot quicker and easier when you go and put this in KOWP. Now my rain day and rain night, they are the same, but if I wanted to come back in here and add a sun into this and a moon into this, I could easily do that and maintain those names and they would show uh, like I want them to. So you have your SVGs, you've created your font icon over at IcoMoon, it's just a matter of you getting that to show up in KOWP. So let me show you how I have that set up right now. So inside of KOWP, I'm going to look at this craft math simple weather icon. This will be posted on KOWP Toots. I got several to update on that app on the Play Store. So inside of this component that I have, it's a font icon. And in that font icon is going to be this craft math simple weather. Basically, it's all these icons that I've made in Affinity Designer. Make sure you've watched that video on how to get those font icons to show up inside of here. And I'm just importing that whole thing. Now, where the coding comes in here is based on a condition. So for the particular icon, I have it coded, and this code is not bad at all. So notice it says, if AI is day. Well, that's the function to determine if it is day. It's either going to be day or night. Um, but if AI is day, that means if it is day, if it's daytime, then I want to return the function WI icon plus day. What that's going to do, if I just come here and delete this word day, because right now it is daylight outside, the sun is up. So right now it's just returning the WI icon and right now it is clear. So the condition is clear where I am. And again, I'm getting these codes from this right here, but you could use this for these codes as well. And let me go ahead and mention this to you as well. You could even incorporate the weather forecast right there as well. If you want to use uh, the icon for like zero days, that's like the forecast for today. One day away, you change that to a one. You could even do them here. So you don't necessarily have to put focus on just the weather info, the current weather info. You can do this for weather forecast, uh, the weather forecast function as well. But anyway, back into here, if it is daylight, if the sun is up, then I want to return the weather condition, the icon, in this case is clear, but I also want to tack on that word day. So notice if I put plus day, it's going to add the word day. What that's going to do, since I have these SVGs named, you know, clear day, clear night, pea cloudy day, pea cloudy night, it's always going to return uh, the current condition plus the word day. So right now it's clear day. Well, what if it's not day? I want to return the current icon plus the word night. That's going to give me my day icons and my night icons all separated. 
Now remember, you can do weather forecast as well. So I can do weather forecast, I just have to specify what day. So the weather forecast for today is clear day. If I go to tomorrow, it's also clear. There's another one, so two days away, uh, it's gonna be a shower. So that's gonna give me a different icon here. And as you can see, that is different than that sun that we saw a moment ago. But just like that, we can quickly go back and forth in between these things. But all I have in this component right now is just a quick component to give me the current condition. And if it's daylight, I want the word day on the end of it so I can match the names of my SVGs, which are also used in my TTF, um, that icon font that I created over on IcoMoon. And otherwise, I want to see the night piece right there. And there you have it. You know, create you several SVGs. Name them based on those conditions in, at the help.custom.rocks website. Tack on the word day or night. That way you can do a quick code. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.